in Azerbaijan, civilian areas have now become front lines. A conflict with Armenia that had been frozen for three decades has reignited. We're on the front line, guys, so if you can hear us, we're showing you the smoke in the distance. You can see very, very intense shelling on the front line. And it's taken a heavy toll on the people caught in the middle. Vahid <laughs> Abbasov lives with his family in the Azerbaijani village of Ajibadi, but this isn't home. He's originally from Kajali in Karabakh and fought in the war against Armenia in the 1990s. Vahid escaped Kajali and has been internally displaced ever since. Oradaki hayat bizde bundan yakışadı. All of that. Şimdi burada da şükür. Yine bir şükürdü. Yakışadı. Armenia ended up occupying Nagorno-Karabakh and surrounding villages. Unfortunately, Armenian armed forces in the early 90s they uh, managed to seize up to 20% of the territory of the uh, Azerbaijani Republic. And I would like to emphasize that the international recognized uh, territory of Azerbaijan. Under international law, Nagorno-Karabakh is still Azerbaijan's territory, but is now largely populated by ethnic Armenians. It became obvious to everybody that Armenian political leaders uh, deliberately undermined the entire legal uh, basis for the peace negotiations between two countries and uh, uh, intended uh, to preserve this occupation forever. Armenia has felt uh, quite confident during the last two years to uh, increasingly violate the ceasefire and uh, to conduct the military aggression, military provocations against Azerbaijan. I think that it's impossible to endlessly test the uh, patience of uh, people who 20% uh, of uh, whose territory is under occupation over the 30 uh, years. The renewed fighting has particularly hit the Azerbaijani town of Tater. Talman Muradov's home is among many others that have been hit. As we're talking to him, shelling continues. You can see the smoke rising in the distance there. And all morning here on the front lines, we've heard the very heavy exchanges of fire by both sides. And it's continuing, you can hear it there. Missiles have landed in this neighborhood, buildings are destroyed or damaged, and the area is littered with broken windows. During lulls in the fighting, people have been collecting their belongings. Few civilians have remained behind. Well, we're here in Terta, which is a, a town very close to the front lines. You can hear almost constant exchanges of fire. And the civilians here have been living in underground areas like this as the fighting continues. You can see their beds uh, here. They've been eating and sleeping here and trying to keep themselves safe from the ongoing fighting. Aydin Shavadiev has been sheltering in this basement for weeks now. Despite the risk from incoming missiles, 
He's adamant he won't leave. Her bir silahtan istifade edinler. Toplardan, gürbel bir toplardı. Kırat kurgularından, kristal kurgularından istifade edinler. Hatta raket atınlar. Hayır, hayır, korkmayın. Hiç bak, korkmayın. Korkmayın. Hatta biz oradan gidip bakan da gelip yanımda daha düşür. Açılmıyor ama. Yok, bundan sonra yok. Olabilsin ki olar. Ama onlar eğer razılığa gelersin. Olarlar. Onlar eğer istiyor ki Azerbaycan da sakit yaşasın, dinç yaşasın, böyle Azerbaycan vatandaşı kimi yaşayabilirler. Tertar is like a ghost town. Let's get out of here. As we move around, the sounds of missiles overhead force us to regularly run for cover. Ermenin ancak yani bizi ateşe tuttuğunu görmüşük yani dayanmadan bizi ateşe tutur gördüğünüz gibi binaları darmadağın edipti dince halini yani ordumuza gücü çatmır devletimize gücü çatmır o cümleden de dince halini incidirler dince halini vururlar yani bile de vaziyet çok pis. Onlar hilesini bizim man dince halini üzerinde gösterebilirler yani bizim ordumuzdan karşılaşabilirler. Ancak bir son günlerde bu bizim ordumuz ilerledikçe onlar dinci halini hedef götürüp yaşayış evlerini, dinci halini en esas da tertel istiqamet ve kasabı istiqametinde yani binaları, evleri darmadan dağıtıklar. Everyone we meet in Tertel tells us they are strongly behind the military action to retake Nagorno-Karabakh. Milli insanları vurur. Harbçilerle dövüşmür. Ancak Şahsi mülkleri vurur. Haksızlığı edirlər də. İstər istemez Azərbaycan bizim ölçədi, bizim de Qarabağda bizim şey olmalıdır. İnşallah da olacaq. Azalı vaxt yoxdur. As the war rages, the city of Genja also found itself in the firing line, despite being 60 kilometers from the Armenia border. The city has since been targeted multiple times, Parts of it now resemble a war zone. Elshan and his daughter Medina were with the rest of their family inside their home in Genja when Armenian missiles struck. They're now in temporary accommodation. Bir büyük bir ses geldi. Ses gelmeyenden ailemiz bir olmadı. Hele tam yatmamıştık. Ayık da. Onda gördük ki aynılar kaplar üstümüzden geçti hamsi. Toz duman içinde evi büyüdü, təmiz, toz duman. Ben uşağın səsini çağırdım uşaqlarımı ki, e, sağ mısınız? Getdim, özü almıştım, yatdım. Birincində atdılar, dedim, bacıma dedim, korkuram. İkincisi de atanda şu şeyler başımıza çöküldü. Tez başımıza yorganı çekti. Ondan sonra atam dedi, çıxın, çıxın. Elşan knows he and his family are lucky to be alive. But says his children are still traumatized. Düz uşaqlar biraz e, təsir elədi, onların elə bir ki, beyin sirkələnməsində, nə bilim, düz bayaq da apardım, doktora göstərdim ki, e, elə bir ki, uşaqdır, təsir elədi. İndi akşamlar yatanda, indi burada da yatanda, yatanda deyirlər ki, indi yen atacaqlar, yen atacaqlar, indi kiçik kızımdır, görürəm akşam qorxur ki, görürəm atacaqlar mı, nə olacaq, bir şey olmayacaq ki, partlamayacaq ki. A number of ceasefires have failed to pause the fighting, with both sides accusing one another of violations. Whether it's formally uh, off, no, it's still the ceasefire continues, but it's obvious that it's only on the uh, level of declaration. So on the ground, there is a constant violation of ceasefire by Armenian side. We asked about the fact that Azerbaijan has been returning fire and what the justification for that is. As soon as we have agreed to humanitarian truce, uh, armed forces got an order to respect uh, the ceasefire. Uh, but as the other side, as the occupying forces of Armenia continued shelling and deliberately indiscriminately targeting civilians, we were obliged to take responsive measures. Despite the mounting death toll on both sides, the fight for Nagorno-Karabakh doesn't look to be abating any time soon. Many families in Azerbaijan, like Vahids, remain firmly behind the fight 
to retake the territory after a nearly 30 year wait. Ben bu uşaqların görmüyü bu oranı. Deyir ki, alın saydı gedir. Televizorda o alınan yerleri görürler. Deyir ki, alın saydı gedir biz, biz de görürdük, gezerdik oraları. Geleceğe ümitlerimi onunla yaşayıram ki, yerimiz alınsın, kocalı alınsın. Gedek yerimize, yurdumuza. Orada ne? Gene de öz işimizi orada göre. Devam edelim.